Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Malin and right now here in Sweden we're basically at the peak of summer so I thought this was a good time for me to share some delicious easy, simple salads with you guys. They're not main dishes really, they're more side salads and they're all really fresh using simple summer ingredients. And I'm gonna make a crunchy celery salad with olives. I'm also going to make a fennel and cucumber salad that's super fresh. I'm going to make a ceviche inspired salad that has a lot of lime in it. And then I'm also going to make a tomato and onion salad with some basil, something that my mom used to make all the time when I grew up. So I hope you will enjoy this. Let's get started. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives and curious people with thousands of classes on various topics. Personally, I like that I can learn specific creative skills that relate to the field that I am in, in photography and videography, but I can also learn skills that help me with my freelance business and also self-development and finding my creative confidence. And in this way, Skillshare is a very well-rounded platform that can support me in many aspects of what I do and who I am. At the moment, I'm looking to reignite my sustainability focus, and I've been inspired by the initiative of Plastic Free July. So I'm taking a class called Sustainable Living Basics, Simple Steps to Make an Impact. And in it, Catherine Kellogg shares her insights and methods for reducing your waste, being a more conscious consumer, and also how to share the word of sustainable living to others in a kind and compelling way. While sustainability has been a passion of mine for a while, it's really great to learn about specific aspects of it like zero waste from a pro like Catherine. If you are interested in learning, developing and exploring with Skillshare like me, then the first 1000 of you to click the link in the description box will receive a two month free trial to Skillshare Premium and have access to all the classes. And yeah, thanks to Skillshare again and now let's get to cooking. To make the crunchy celery salad, we're going to start by slicing the celery into bite-sized pieces. I like to also use the celery leaves for the salad, so I just break them into smaller pieces, but you could of course chop them if you prefer. Then we're also gonna have some olives and I'm using Kalamata olives here, but you can use any kind of olive that you like. I just like the combination of these olives with the celery. To dress the salad, I'm going to make a very simple garlic dressing and I start by drizzling some olive oil into a little jug. And then I'm adding in some apple cider vinegar, salt and black pepper. Finally, I'm going to crush in a clove of garlic. This is gonna give the salad that really yummy garlic flavor. So first you'll want to mix up the dressing really well and then mix it into the salad really well as well. This salad really tastes the best a few hours after you make it or even the next day. And that way it will have soaked up all that yummy dressing and the flavors have come together really nicely. This salad goes really well with pretty much any dish where you want a crunchy side, but I really like it with messe or with some Mediterranean food, but I'm sure that you will find plenty of creative ways to incorporate the salad. Next, we're gonna make a fennel and cucumber salad that's very, very fresh and vibrant. And I'm starting by slicing the cucumber quite thickly. I like to also half my slices, but you could cut the cucumber in any way you like. Then we're also going to slice up some fennel. And what I do is that I cut it into quarters and I also remove those little pointy bits that stick out. And then I just slice it in those quarters and I find this is the easiest way to deal with fennel. I'm also using those pointy bits that I just cut off because they taste 
equally as good as the rest of the fennel. So I slice that up and I also slice up a spring onion and some dill. And I just chop that roughly before I combine all the vegetables in a bowl. I zest some lemon over that and I'm gonna squeeze in the juice as well. And as always, you can find all the measurements and full recipes linked in the description box. I'm also drizzling in some extra virgin olive oil into the bowl, but you could leave this out if you prefer. And I season with some salt and black pepper. And this way I've created a dressing straight into the mixing bowl. I mix all of this up and then it's ready to serve. I love the combination of the cucumber with the singy lemon zest and the licorice fennel. And I like to use some chive flowers to decorate if I have them on hand, but really you don't need to decorate this anymore because I think it's beautiful as it is and I hope you do too. This salad is really great with something savory, maybe a little bit more heavy, where that freshness can get the chance to cut through that. I grew up eating this tomato and onion salad with pretty much anything. And to make it, I start by combining some olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, salt and black pepper in a little bowl. And this is gonna be the dressing for the salad. It's very simple, but now in the summer, the tomatoes are so super sweet and the onion has its own sharpness to it. So it really doesn't need much of a dressing. Then I go on to slicing up some onion and here I have some fresh onion but you could use red or brown onion as well. I'm going to also slice up my tomatoes and I've chosen to use two colors of tomatoes here to make it extra pretty but you can really make the salad with any type of tomato that you have on hand even cherry tomatoes are perfect. The prep work for the salad is really minimal, which makes it perfect for lazy summer days. To serve it, I simply layer the tomatoes and onions, and between the layers I like to drizzle the dressing so that it covers all the vegetables. And this is another salad that likes to sit for a little bit, so if you make this a couple of hours ahead, that's perfect. I like to finish it off with a few sprigs of basil, but you can really leave it just with the tomatoes and onions as well. This is a pretty all-around summer salad. You can eat it with pretty much everything. I'm probably saying this about every salad, but I think for this one, it's definitely true. To finish off this salad medley, I'm going to show you how to make a ceviche inspired salad that starts with slicing up some zucchini or courgette. I'm using a cheese slicer for this, but you can use a mandolin or just cut them finely as well. I'm using two colors, but you could use one, of course. Then to spice things up, I'm going to chop up a jalapeno pepper finely. And you can use another type of chili pepper if you want, or you can use chili flakes, whatever you have on hand. chopped up pepper is going into a dressing that's really lime heavy but first I drizzle in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then I'm ready to zest the lime into the bowl and I'm also going to squeeze in a whole lot of lime juice season the dressing with salt and then I give it a good mix before pouring half of it over the zucchini or crochet and the rest I'm gonna keep for the next part of this salad. 
once I've poured the dressing over the zucchini, I'm going to coat them really well, so mix them really well, and then leave them in the fridge for one to three hours to soak up all that flavor. To go over the zucchini, I'm going to make a little salad that's finely chopped and I'm making this with peach, one of my favorite summer fruits. So I chop it up finely and then I'm also going to chop up some tomato, cucumber, onion, cilantro or coriander as well as avocado to go with this. And this reminds me a little bit of like a salsa but also is reminiscent of a ceviche. For those of you who don't know what ceviche is, it's actually Peru's national dish, but it's made in other places in South America as well. As far as I know, it's often served as a starter and it's often made with white fish. But of course, I'm not making it with fish, I'm making it with vegetables instead. What makes it reminiscent of ceviche, I would say, is that I'm dressing it with a lot of lime, chili, salt and coriander. Which, from my research, is how it's traditionally made. A combination that's super yummy and if you've never tried it, I hope you will. Once I've chopped all the vegetables, I combine them in a bowl and I would like to say that you can actually make this with any type of fruit you want. So pineapple would taste really nice in this, strawberries, which is seasonal here in Sweden now, would also be perfect. So just let your imagination lead you. Then I drizzle the rest of the dressing we made over the top of the veggies and I give them a good mix. And then I'm gonna leave this in the fridge as well for about one, two hours if I have the time. Then I'm going to layer the zucchini onto a big serving plate and I love how this dish ends up looking. It's such a vibrant, colorful expression. And once the zucchini is all layered out, I'm adding the chopped up salad in little chunks here and there and I finish it off with some fresh coriander. This salad is great as a starter when you're making any type of South American food, I would say. We love to have it as a side with our tacos, but yeah, just let your imagination run wild. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've gotten some ideas from it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Wishing you all a lovely day. Take care, bye!